Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a smoked out blacky, blacky, no, a smoked out black smoky eye. I hope that makes sense. I love doing these kinds of looks and I just realized that I really don't have any of these on my channel so I wanted to do one for you today. I was like, yeah, I'm totally gonna do something very Valentine's Day themed and then I got some black and some more black and some more black and then I created this and I was like, oh, that's not Valentine's Day, I don't think. So it's like a very vampy, like, dark Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It really, really is super simple. It looks a little bit intimidating and it probably looks really hard, but honestly, the key thing here is blending. Yeah, if you got a good blending brush and you got some time on your hands, you can create this look. It really isn't that hard. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you want to see how to get this blacked out, smoky, vampy Valentine's Day look, then please keep watching. Jumping right in, I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with some concealer. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer to do this. I have naturally oily eyelids, so with that being said, I have to make sure that I always prime my eyelids and I set it. It's really important that I do that. If not, the color that I put on my eyelids is just going to be slipped and sliding. To set it, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Translucent Powder. Going in with this Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie color, this is going to be my first transition shade. It's a nice peachy, almost salmon-y transition shade and it's perfect for my skin tone. If you're around my skin tone, I think this will be perfect for you too. And I'm just going to be going in in no particular order. I'm just going to be buffing that into my crease very sloppily. And then on top of that, I'm going to be putting creme brulee, which is a little bit deeper. And then that's going to be right on top of the peach smoothie. I think I just said that. Um, again, no real structure here. I'm just going to make sure I put it in my crease. This next step is really important because we are working with black. So I'm going to be taking this regular basic eyeliner. It's just a black eyeliner and I'm just going to be putting that on my lid and then I'm going to be using the other end of that to smudge it out because it's an eyeliner on one end and then a smudger on the other end. I'm just going to make sure I flop it right on my lid and keep it nice and low. If you take it too high, that's how it might look like you have panda eyes, which is not really what we're going for. Now I'm going to be going in with Makeup Geek's Corrupt Eyeshadow, which is a super black eyeshadow. The reason we went in with that cream eyeliner is because it's going to serve as a base for the black eyeshadow that we want to go in with. Sometimes when you go in with just straight up black eyeshadow, then it will start to fade throughout the day. So having that black eyeliner there as a cream base will help provide something for it to stick to. So I'm going to keep that again nice and low, that black eyeshadow, and I'm going to be using a flat shader brush to do this. Next, I'm going to be going in with this. Morphe eyeshadow in the shade Caramelize. It's a nice brown eyeshadow. It's perfect because it's not too warm and it's not too cool. And I'm basically going to be using this as a blending color to basically transition the black into a more faded brownish grayish color. Now be forewarned, this part is going to take up a lot of time. Because you use black, you want it to transition very nicely and to not be this kind of harsh line how it's looking right now. That's how this kind of look can go completely wrong. Sometimes people just kind of give up on the blending. So you just really have to take your time with it. I really, I thought I grew a muscle on my right arm because I was blending for that long. I had to take breaks in between, guys. Like, it was that real. So basically, that's all you got to do. Just blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it until you think it looks very seamless. Going in with a baby wipe or a makeup wipe, whatever you have, I'm going to be using that to clean up the fallout. Because we're working with blacks, you do tend to have a lot of fallout. Liner today, I'm going to be using NYC's liquid liner. I can't really do this on camera, so I'll be right back. Hold, please. Now I'm going to be going in with Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara just to give my lashes um, a lot more volume because the lashes I'm going to be using today are very voluminous, which are the Vegas Nay Eye Allure Gland Grand Glamour Eyelashes. Jumping straight into my face, I am going to be priming my face with the Benefit Professional. It's this little tiny one that I had laying around here because I couldn't find my big one for the life of me. I'm going to be trying out this foundation for the first time today, which I do have my reservations on. It is a Maybelline Velvet Matte Foundation, and as you can tell, the packaging looks a certain kind of color, which I thought was my color, but if you can see it right now, it's really, really light. And on camera, it might look a little darker. But in person, it's really, really fair. And uh, it was just not looking good. It really wasn't looking good. So I ended up having to mix it with a foundation that's a little bit too dark for me right now, which is the Maybelline Fit Me. It's more of my summer shade. Um, so I had to end up doing that because this foundation 
this matte velvet foundation was really not working for me. So I have tried it a couple times afterwards. This was my first time using it in this particular video and I do have my opinions on it. For concealing, I'm going to be using that same concealer that I used to prime, which is the Maybelline Better Skin. And I have everything listed down below. Every detail of every shade of everything that I'm using will be listed down below. So make sure you check the description box. Once the concealer is fully blended, I'm actually going to be baking again today. I think I did it in my last tutorial too. And to be completely honest, for the past year that baking was a trend, I really thought it was more gimmicky than anything else. But holy crap, it leaves me so matte and it leaves my concealer looking so flawless. Honestly, I don't think I'll ever stop baking ever again. I'm honestly just going to skip through my brows super quick just because I did a tutorial on that, which is really in-depth. I will link it down below. For my waterline, I'm going to be using that same eyeliner that I used as a base for the eyeshadow, the black eyeshadow, which is the Little Rock eyeliner that I used. I'm going to be putting that on my waterline, and then I'm going to be smudging that out with some of that caramelized Morphe brown color, the last brown color that I used. I'm going to be um, using that and the black eyeliner kind of together to smudge out the lower lash line area. And then I'm going to be going with the L'Oreal Telescopic, which is a really great mascara for the lower lashes. And then for blush, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Pearlescent Pink. I'm pretty sure that's the shade that I'm using. And that's going to be going on my cheeks, obviously. And then I'm going to be using a mix of those two colors from the Kat Von D palette, which I haven't used in a hot minute. And I'm going to be bronzing up my face and kind of doing a, a slight contour, if you know what I'm saying. And then to highlight, I'm going to be using the Mary Luminizer. Don't ask me why I use that brush to highlight. Honestly, I have no idea. Looking at it now, I'm wondering why I even use it. It's like the most awkward little brush to highlight. Moving on, I'm going to be putting that same highlighter on my inner corners as well as on the high points of my brows. And that's all to highlight. And then after this, I'm just going to be going into my lips. And I'll let you guys know right now what I'm going to be using. It's going to be the ColourPop Chili Chill Liquid Lipstick. I have everything listed down below so you can check out the details. That pretty much completes this look. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.